What is up, you guys? I'm Farah, and today we're reacting to episode 11 of season 2 of Dangers in My Heart. I literally had to wait until um, my fast was over for Ramadan just so I can watch the today's episode because um, I don't want to be dehydrated. So, the show was only going to add to that. So, I've got my number one friend here for this episode, and I'm very excited. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like to see my uncut reactions, make sure to go check them down below in the description. It helps support me in the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this therapy session. Oh no. <laughs> she kind of looks like Yama though. Okay, she's a little too exuberant for me, bro. She's so intense. Oh, and Yamada looking at him. This is gonna be exactly like this whole like uh, Ichigami Ichigami thing in like uh, Kaguya sama. It's gonna be like Ichiko. Ichiko and Ichigami. Same, 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 same. Oi. What? Sorry? Baby, he's so cute. He's so cute. I love him. Don't cry. His night. Oh, so he rides them? You're small? He's not puny. He grew six centimeters, you know. It's because Yamada keeps standing up for him. Oh my stop stop In height yeah he has Yo what the fuck don't be talking about that right now Oh did he Oh we never saw this Good, because you're friends now. Be nice. Good. She liked him already by that point, no? Habibi, he ain't hearing about you liking him. Absolutely not gonna happen. Wait, is that how she started liking him? Because he took care of her in that way and she's like, what a kind boy. Is this how, is this the origin story? <laughs> oh my God, Ichika. Please, before he knew he had like intrusive thoughts, this idiot. Ichikawa, please, you idiot. He got so much taller. Mm -hmm. Dude, he grew so much. Oh, Yamada. Do you think he knows? Does Adachi know he likes him? They're together. He feels bad, huh? Because he likes her. Oh, it's like he wants to fight against him for his hand on for Yamada. He's gonna lose, buddy. I was like, love rivals? All right, Himmel. You've already won, Yama, though. Oh, look at him training. You won't. You won't. 
Yeah, if it's muscle training, yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, if it's like running, it's fine. But if it's like weight training, it, it does make you shorter. Or like gymnastics. Sorry, go back. No, no, no. I missed something funny. Sorry, go back. Don't want the algorithm thinking I'm a gym rat? Stop. What an what icon. <gasps> Yamato? <laughs> she was out here talking to a dog and he was talking to his imaginary puberty. Woof, woof. Mm, I'm sure, buddy. I'm sure. Cutie. Hold hands. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Is there a house? I knew it. I knew it. A quickie, huh? Don't be saying that. Yeah, don't be saying it like that. Where's your dad at, though? Weirdly, this episode is a lot more like the first few episodes of the show, by the way. Like, his internal dialogue sounds a lot more like his past self this episode. Oh, the ab roller. I hate that thing. I was like, I could do it. Couldn't even get up. Can't get up. Can't do it. Buddy. What? It was the doggo. He's not even going down low enough. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was really cute for you, baby. And he wants to honor him. He's his friend. Adachi's his friend, but at the same time, Adachi likes Yamada also. It's just unfortunate because Yamada likes Ichikawa. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for your emotional intelligence coming back. She hesitated to say his name. He did it. No, he likes you that much. Oh, she'll make you lunch. <laughs> I'm loving you, you idiot. <laughs> She's going to cheer for him. Oh, I'm so happy and excited. <laughs> I wanted to write his name. Wait, did she write his name somewhere? She gonna write his her name? No. What did she write? And then she's hiding it. The way that I would check it immediately. 
No, I bet you the water is going to like wash the thing down, but it's gonna say Anna. I bet you anything. Or does it say I like you? Does it say I like you? Mm. Throbbing with sportsmanship. That's a little weird. Well, I'm throbbing with sportsmanship, all right? Our members. <laughs> As you shouldn't be. Oh, she made one for Yamada, though. Yeah, literally. Go on though. I've seen this in I've seen this in um Kaguya sama. Ichika wa Yamada. Mm. Oh! <gasps> so she's gonna send in her parents? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Poor girl, bro. He's overworking himself. She's stuck. <laughs> Bro, stop. As you should, as you should. Protect her. Yeah. Yeah. Haram, he definitely had to have this conversation with him once, one time or another, you know? It's just, it's just shitty. But at the end of the day, she's always picked him. She's always gonna be picking him. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Adachi, please. I'll make it quick. I'll make it quick. But it's wet and slippery. <gasps> wait, he'd have to accidentally take off this, but then he'll see he loses. Wait, wait, guys, not me predicting this, okay? Okay? He'll take off the hat, but he'll accidentally take this off, but then he'll see that he lost anyways because Anna's name is right there. But then he won't tell Ichikawa what's on it. Come on. No, you're doing it for Yamada. You love your friend. You don't hate him at all. Wanna win for her. Oh, he can't even hate him for it. Because he doesn't think he's a good guy. Because she deserves better. Oh. <laughs> it's a girl. He's saying you don't really understand her depth. You don't understand more about her than just that she's cute and pretty. You don't know her like that. You don't know her like me. And at the same time, I she doesn't know her. But at the same time, like, I thought she's having an issue because he can't even hate him. Because Kyoto is just a good fucking guy. He's a great fucking guy. Keep trying. Yeah, 
He's saying, saying, fucking keep going, keep trying. He really said that out loud? He would be able to hate you, but he can't. He can't. You're too kind. You're too good, Kotaro. <laughs> What's this band dude's gonna say? He won't let it come and he won't let it come off. Q. He really saw he lost, but he's happy for him. <laughs> he's happy for him, but he's happy that he won at least too. <laughs> I literally predicted that. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, I'm so dehydrated I can't even cry. <laughs> She's so upset because of his mom. <laughs> yeah, what about Moko? Look at her trying to protect you. She's taking care of you. <laughs> yeah. You freak. Why does he not see the person in front of him? Oh, she left for him. <laughs> It's not disappointing, though. Yeah, you've been... Stop, I'm sorry. It's like he's been, like, um, trying to protect himself so hard, consistently, from his failures, that his self-esteem is just shot down in the fucking gutter. It's been in the fucking gutter, and Yamada's, like, taught him to, like, be strong again, and, like, trust himself again. He doesn't want to learn to be, like, disappointed again and just, like, don't forget that but the thing is, it's that you shouldn't be letting the disappointment rule you or control you. You should be letting it motivate you to do better. Remember to do better. Not hate yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she made him a massive large egg. Um. Oh. <laughs> Is it really good? Yeah, of course she does. <laughs> You're a growing boy. She wants to eat with you. <laughs> nah, if I was him, I could not recover. Oh. <laughs> You're telling me to be normal right now? You, you, you expect me to be normal? About these two? Is this a sick joke? You want me to be normal about this? About them? Isn't that asking a bit too much, don't you think? Me? Normal about them? Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> They're so perfect. It's like... He eventually had to do this anyways. He had to go against a, a Dutch year and ever regardless. No matter what, because it's important. Because it's not just Yamada and him anymore. He has friends. He has friends. And at the same time, Adachi can't hate Kyotaro. He can't hate him. 
And because of Kyotaro, he also sees even better in Yamada because he brings out the best in Yamada. So he can't even hate Yamada. And she makes Kyotaro a better person. And so, from the outsiders looking in, <laughs> they're both making each other so much better. And when you care about one, you officially love the other one because they make your friend better and happier. Just like the same way with Moko, like, loving Ichigawa now as a friend. It's like, he see she sees what he does for Yamada. <laughs> now he makes her a better person, makes her happy. But that's all that matters. It's just really cool. I'm so proud of him for constantly, like, fighting. <laughs> it's also so weird seeing, like, the past version of himself where he was, like, still in so much denial. <laughs> and I'm so proud of him for constantly, like, growing out of that, like, time where he was disappointed in himself of not being able to be, like, entering private school. <laughs> He's a pure-hearted baby. And so, also, he grew so much taller. And it was so obvious. But he was just like growing taller all of a sudden because like motherfucker you were like at her like boob height and suddenly you're at her shoulder it's confusing i wonder if he's gonna be taller than her at any point i'm just like happy and i want them to date really bad and i think it's gonna happen next episode i feel like next episode we're gonna start seeing the beginning of the confession and then by episode 13 we're going to see the full flesh confession and i'm gonna be real with y'all I'm not gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be stable or normal about it at all. I'm gonna be completely fucked. Anyways, great day. I literally am struggling. Like there's like two tears coming down, but all I wanna do is cry. It's because I'm so fucking dehydrated. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching today's beautiful episode with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.